the neck is stupid. I said the neck is stupid. Range is electrocuting. Raised where the text was booming. Gang spraying wet and stupid. I made it on out. I'ma lay it all out. The boss of clout. Which poppin', which poppin', which poppin', which poppin', which poppin'. Which poppin'. What's really good with the peoples? What's really good with the peoples, baby? What's good with the peoples, baby? What's populating with the peoples, baby? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Christian CT was popping. Slim Blunt Gang in the building showing summers. What up? Greg Johnson, Romy 16 was popping. Alberto Cabrera was really good. So Wavy was really. Wiggy Bryant was popping, my broski. I'll see you in the building. KD Kid was popping. Nubian Emperor Howard Gang in the building. You heard Barcelona. You heard? Soft side. You heard? No, the ledge was shrapping. Sharif Jones was really hood. Nubian Emperor. I don't know if I shouted you, Betty. I'm bugging. Keys was popping. Brooklyn so Broke so don't ass was popping. Chuck Miller was really hood. C Mac was popping. Goat Lady, I see you in the build on, was populating. Ayatollah was really hood. What's goody with y'all dudes? What's goody with y'all dudes? I'm just chilling, man. Anthony Sorrows was popping. Word, I'm just chilling, man. I'm in Manhattan right now, man. You're I'm in Midtown right now, chilling like a villain that's through with stealing. You heard? Just finished filming some shit. You feel me? Just finished filming an episode of the show. You heard? I just finished filming a new episode of When Chasing Your Eggplant Goes Wrong. So that'll be coming out soon. I already started editing that shit. I ain't playing no games. So, you know what I mean? Tomorrow I had that shit edited. I don't know when I'm going to put it out. But I got a new episode of When Chasing Your Eggplant Goes Wrong, man. If you got a When Chasing Your Eggplant Goes Wrong episode, Manny Gomez, we got to go in with that with that Chasing Your Eggplant story. But, I mean, if you out there and you got a great Chasing Your Eggplant story, you know what I mean? Holla at me, man. Holla at me, man. You heard? Richie R. Richie H. was populating. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. I got some shit. I got some shit dropping. I'm going to have to drop two episodes a day on a couple of days out this week. You heard? So, no, 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 man, I mean, I need y'all niggas to be on deck with that Yaman gang. Smash them comments out, you heard? Ray Leak 187 was popping. Bryce Smith was really good. Work hard was really slim blunt gang in the building, you heard? I'm trying not to get too high on camera because I be coming on the camera too high sometimes, be wilding out, you heard? So, I mean, I'm chilling out, man. I mean, I'm smoking that fire, too. Shout out to my bro, Matty R. Now, I mean... Bro, Maddie, y'all be having that fire. You heard? My bro, Maddie, y'all be having that fire for the God. You heard? So, you know what I mean? My weed game is serious right now. That perp, ooh, wee. That purple lurple. That purple lurple. I mixed that with anything. No, I ain't even going to hold you. Anytime television. What up, D. Ramsey? What's populating? I mean, y'all yeah, put out some shit earlier, but I made a mistake and left one of the songs off, so I'm going to re-put that shit out on the music tip. You know, her shit is on Patreon, though, but I got to re-put it on there, man. But I'm about to start flooding Patreon with the music. Forgive me for those who's, who join my Patreon and I ain't been updating enough yet. I'm about to flood that shit with so much music, it's about to get crazy. I don't know if nobody ever did a mixtape series called God Degree, but... I'm about to do a mixtape series where I give niggas seven St. Lad songs. God Degree, Volume 1, 2, 3, Forever. Give niggas seven songs at a time. You heard? All seven of them songs is fire. 
I put out a joint today, but I forgot one of the songs. I can't put that shit out there like that. So I had to sleep that. You heard? But when I put it back in, psh, pause, that shit is going to be crazy. You heard? I ain't playing no games, man. Let y'all niggas know I'm giving y'all the best of the best songs I ever made in my life. When y'all hear them shit, y'all going to be like, nah, this nigga right here is the truth, Roof. That nigga's the truth like the cigarette commercials. You heard? Truth.com. But yeah, mangs, I'm just chilling, man. I mean, it was raining a little while ago. The weather is nice, though. I came down here like a clown thinking that Guitar Center was still open on 48th Street. A voice in the back of my head was telling me, nigga, you know that shit been closed. You heard? Is it 48th? Yeah. Yeah, it's 48th. But niggas, just, my voice in my head was like, you know that shit been closed, nigga. But I still went down there like a clown. Then when I went down there... It was talking about 48th Street in Queens that was open. Like, come on, God. Come on, Lord. It's like, I'm trying to, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm thirsty to buy some new technology, my Gs. You know what I mean? I got a technology habit. If technology was a drug, I'd be like this. You know what I mean? Technology, man. I'd be needing it, bro. I'd be needing that new shit that just dropped in, on the market, man. Let me get that, man. You heard? So I was about to run up in a good guitar center, play with a couple of multi-track recorders and see which one I feel like fucking with soon. You feel what I'm saying? Heard is Bon Jovell. But once again, my plans was foiled, man. Like, niggas don't want me to come up in the game, man. You're... Niggas don't want me to come up in the game, man. Straight up, man. Word up, son. That's why I'm looking for a multi-track recorder, son, because I'm on the go too much, man. And I ain't going to get music done in the crib the way I should because I'm on the go. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas be want to bang out music. I got to get me a portable multi-track recorder, my Gs. I need that shit in the car. Something battery-powered so I can just toss that up and park up on a quiet block. Toss that up on my dash, lean up on it like this, and spit them bars in that shit. Mix and master the whole shit down right in the motherfucking joint. You heard? That's what I need, man. You feel me? At home, it's nothing. I bang songs out like nothing. But when I'm on the road, when I'm moving around, and I ain't doing shit, I could be eating motherfucking... I could be eating lunch or something. I could throw the multi-track on, start writing my shit, start recording my shit right then and there, my nigga. Like, do a verse now, verse in another hour. Nigga need the multi-track recorders, man. I mean, I need some hands on shit, man. Save the culture TV. Holla at me, bro. If you got a story you trying to get on a joint, man, holla at me. Tell me what you can tell me what you can afford, my bro. And we make it happen. And I give you I make sure that your story get a real, real prime time slot where it gets seen by a lot of people, man. You heard? I make sure of that. So if you serious about doing some business, hit me up, my broski. You feel me? Hit me up on Instagram, Real St. Laz, or send me an email, lazbeats at gmail.com. Yerk! You know what I mean? And we get that business done, bro. You feel me? A shout out to the bros that been hollering at me for collabs and producers that been doing business with me for, for, for songs to their beats and shit. You know, I told y'all niggas I'm doing music exclusively. My old shit is going to be on gem pop music, my old classic shit. And any new, brand new song that I record, I'm putting it up on this page. I don't care if that shit get 500 views. I don't care. I don't care if it get 500 plays. That's 500 niggas that listen to my shit. Or 400 niggas that listen to it a couple of times. You feel me? A few niggas who listen to it a couple of times. But I don't care, bro. You heard? Know what I mean? I like organic shit. I don't care if... I'd rather have 500 organic plays than 5,000 fake ones, you heard? So I'm on it like that, you feel me? I want to make all new music and put that shit right on my page and make music exclusively for my YouTube page, bro. Because what happens is when you make songs uh, and them shits is all over the place, other niggas be sneakily copywriting your shit on a mixtape. Like a nigga do a dip set mixtape. I might have one song with a dip set nigga. He copyright the whole mixtape and then boom. Now, that song that I got with that Dipset nigga, that shit is a copyright ringing off every time I upload it. So this is why I'm about to start making music exclusively for my YouTube page. Yes. 
And that's a fact. Now nah, that R20, man, I don't know if I'm going to fuck with that R20, man. You heard because that R20... I don't like the fact that it don't it got an undo button and you only could undo that shit like a couple of times. Like you can't go back five steps. Like I don't need a recorder where I can't go back five steps. Like, come on, bro. Y'all gotta step that up. If that's the case, I get a regular handheld joint that do the same shit. I don't need no big, stupid, wild touchscreen recorder and all of that. Shit only could go back four or five steps. But I'm not saying I won't fuck with that R20. Cause I still wanna fuck with it. You know what I mean? But I'm saying that that kind of that kind of scared me away when I found out that you can't you can't undo shit for two three times or something like that, man. I might want to undo some shit ten times, nigga. You could save other versions of the shit, but who want to feel like who want to keep doing that? You heard? So I don't know, but I still like that R20, know the lead. So if you want to send that 500, know what I mean, I'll let you know. I'll do a tutorial, let you know how that shit turned out. You heard? But I'm gonna tell y'all something. When I do get, I ain't even going to blow it up, man. I ain't even going to blow it up, man. I'm going to do something serious, though. But I ain't even going to blow it up like a balloon. Yerp. But you ain't know the ledge. You know, you the nigga with that guap, son. You in Canada. Y'all Canada niggas is rich, bro. Feel me? You got to be rich to live in Canada. Yerp. So, you know what I mean? That 500, nigga. That 500, send that true. And we make that all 20 happen, man. Yerp. When you come to New York, you can use it. Knife Power was popping. Real Deal was really good. Ahmed Long Pause was really popping. Chris Mathis was really hoodie. Yeah, I don't. I, I want. I don't like taking my laptop out the crib, man. I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. Them laptops be a thousand dollars. The Mac laptops they be nine hundred and thousand dollars, and they glass and. Now I mean, I just don't be want to take them shits out the house. Sometimes I take my computer out the house and then I'm jumping every five minutes thinking I left my shit somewhere. Like I can't be playing with that rack. I got too much important shit in my computer to lose that shit. So I can't be playing with that good arachnophobia. You heard? That shit costs a good arachnophobia. Now I mean, so I can't be taking that shit in and out the house, man. I need something that could fit in my little, you know, my little Nike bag. And I could just pull that shit out, pause anytime I'm ready to record, and just lay down some, uh, lay down a joint right in the kid all. You heard? Word is bomb. You know what I mean? So that when I get up with my niggas, we ain't gotta go be cooped up in the studio. We could just slide off somewhere, throw that shit, throw the car on. You feel what I'm saying? Pull up on a, a, a dark block and just lay down a track. Hook that shit up to the car. Put the output as the car speakers. When I'm mixing that shit down, mixing that shit, I got the 3D sound in my shit. Man, listen, I can't wait to mix down a song in this motherfucking car, nigga. You heard? Can't wait, nigga, with this good audio system that's up in here. Man, listen, that shit got the 3D surround sound. I'm gonna mix the shit out of a song. You heard? But yeah, that shit got me tight, man. What time is it, man? Yeah, I'm kind of good with, like, music on sites and shit. Like, I'm about to dead all of that shit, man. Music on sites and Spotify's and all of that. I'm about to dead all of that shit, bro. Like, them niggas, them niggas. Yeah, I mean, they ain't pushing you. I'm not, you know what I mean? They ain't pushing no records. Like, that shit just be sitting there. You got to sit around sharing that shit all day and all that. Once Benton was really good. Javier Hernandez was really good. You know what I mean? Nah, I'm about to start keeping shit because I make money off of YouTube, bro. If I got my if, my, if my monetization is in effect and I put a three minute song on there, it's only going to make, it's going to have a low RPM, but it's going to make way more money. It's going to earn way more money than uh, Spotify on my page. If I put, if I up, if I do a song right now and I upload that shit to my page and that shit is monetized. And that shit get two, three thousand plays. I might make six thousand, six. I might make six, seven dollars off of that two, three thousand plays compared to Spotify. Nigga make 30, 40 cent for them, for them three thousand plays. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I'd rather push it on my YouTube page. I make more money on my YouTube page. But of course, that's for if you got a YouTube partnership. You heard that YouTube partnership shaky though, bro. So, you know what I mean? I'm concentrated on the big bread. You heard? Concentrated on the big bread, baby. You heard? I need that big bread, nigga. You 
heard. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get this channel so popular. This shit so big that, you know, nigga just say, yo, hey, son, hold this 20, 27 zillion down. You heard? Hold this 27 zilly down and go do what you got to do for the channel. You heard? That's what, that's the dream. Somebody ain't going to pass me that 27 zilly. You heard? And it's going to go down. But yeah, man, you know what I mean? I'm going to keep it real with you, though, bro. Music is on the, on the very back back burner right now because that shit don't bring in enough paper. So, you know what I mean? The music I do, I'm doing that shit out of the love of the game, baby. I'm doing it out the love of the game, and I do a little business with producers. Producers be giving me a little couple of dollars to do songs to they beats, throw it on the channel. If you're a producer out there and you want to do some motherfucking records with a nigga, holla at me. We get a cover done and all of that, put out a little quick little EP. I do EPs when it come to business. Listen, you know, when it come to my personal music, shit moves slow, my nigga. But when it come to business, nigga, let be a producer and want to do a whole album with me and come with a bag. Watch how fast I deliver you a whole album because when it's bags involved, I can't play around with a nigga money. I mean, I'm a stern businessman. So once a nigga pay me for something, it goes on the front burner of everything. You heard? And I got to just get that shit done with a nigga paid me for and that's it. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. So if you're a producer out there, man, you want to do a quick EP, quick six, five, six songs or some, five, six songs of Flame, and you want to put it exclusively on my YouTube page, and we push that together forever, forever together, holla at me, my nigga. We do some business. You feel what I'm saying? Give you a, give you a delicious price on that EP. I'll give you a delicious price on that EP, my nigga. $1,200. I'm just, I'll say the price right now. $1,200. I give you an EP, my nigga. You heard? And I don't need to do no music to make no money. You can make no money in other ways. But if I'm going to make an EP of all new songs, I got to get some type of some type of financial push with that. $1,200. i am giving you an EP, my nigga. Break that down per song. It's nothing, my nigga. You heard? But I got to put out some type of music, but why not make some money while I'm putting out the music too? You feel what I'm saying? But I got to put out some type of music. I love putting out EPs. A quick six songs on a nigga ass, shut a nigga right up. So if you produce out there and you got that fire fire, and you want you want to let niggas know that you got that fire fire, we put the six song EP up on the channel as a stream, and then, you know, we put it up separately too. But we put that, that six song EP up as a stream where nigga could sit there and listen to a good 20 minute, 22, 23 minute, you know, stream. Shit is dope, bro. Perfect for a drive. A nigga got to drive somewhere right quick. He throw the stream on like bing, bong, bing. Six motherfucking songs produced all by you. That's how you that's how you shine as a producer. If you want to shine as a producer, you got to do an exclusive EP with an artist. You feel what I'm saying? A dope artist. And let niggas see that you consistently could give hot beats, my nigga. A nigga hear six hot songs in a row. A nigga ain't never going to forget your producer name. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, I remember you did that EP produced by such and such beats. Nigga going to always remember your producer name if they hear you did a whole six song EP with a nigga that was fired, bro. You heard, and I got the major uh, mixtape outlet. So, you know, like I said, music is on the back burner. But every once in a while, I get my music buzz back and I want to go in. So if you a nigga out there and you smart and you want some serious promotion, holla at me because I'm going to promote our project on my episodes that I upload. So it ain't just going to, we going to just drop a project and that's going to be that. I'm going to tell niggas about that project, put the link in the description, and niggas going to be able to listen to them six songs, my niggas. So if you want to do an EP, scream at the guard. Yer Yeah, now nah, I got stupid tracks, my nigga. I got stupid tracks, you heard? YMF Link, Tony Williams was popping. Chris Jones was really good. Yeah, now nah, if you spit, though, if you, know what I mean, no gas TV was really good. If you spit, you got them bars, you know what I mean? Richie Reed Jr., what up? Rich Reed Jr. was popping. Real Deal was really good. But it's like, yeah, if you want a motherfucking, if you want to, if you want to do a project with the G.O.D., man, I mean, like I said, I'm promoting it on the channel. So let's just say me and you did an EP rapper 
or producing. Now, if you a rapper, you gotta have some dope bars, my nigga. I can't be doing an EP with with a nigga sounding crazy. You heard? You gotta know what you're doing, and you gotta be able to hold your own on the 16. Now, if you can hold your own on that 16, we could do an EP, my nigga. You gotta just come with that guap. Give me some. Give me some of that guap, and I'm gonna put this shit together. We gonna get a stupid cover. And I'm gonna promote that shit on 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 two or three major stories like this. Check my EP with my nigga such and such on the channel right now. Click this link to hear the whole EP right here. And that's how we gonna do that, my nigga. And niggas gonna be hearing that music. So you gotta scream at me with that guap, you heard? And we get it, we get it done. But if you got a wild story, if you got a wild story that you want to tell, and you want to get it on the channel, and you want to do some business. You know, I get I get wild, bro. Like I get wild. I give you a wild slot where I know your shit is gonna do some major numbers, and I lace that shit out crazily. You know what I mean? And do some heavy promotion for you, bro. You know what I mean? You just gotta holler. You gotta holler like a scholar. You know what I mean? And you can't, cause you know a lot of niggas. When you in this business, you get a lot of niggas hollering at you. Sixty seconds was populating. You get a lot of niggas hollering at you, my nigga. Know what I mean, niggas be screaming at you and niggas be like, yo, Laz, what up, man? Let's do some business, my nigga. You know what I mean? I'm ready to go. This I'm ready to do some shit. And I'll be like, yo, what up, nigga? What's popping? Yo, what's good? Z man was popping. Yo, what up? Where you from? A word was popping. All right, well, let's get it in. Nigga be like, all right, my nigga, I'm gonna holler at you in October. I'll be like, huh? Nigga be like, yo, son, yeah, son, I, I mean, we're gonna do this video. I should be ready by October. It should be a March. Nigga be talking about, y'all be ready in October. I be like, nigga, October, I'm going to have a deal with HBO for $78 million. I ain't going to answer my DMs no more for you, nigga. What the fuck is you talk about, nigga? If you got that bread now, send that shit to my cash app now. We get it in. Otherwise, my nigga, you kind of coming across as a little weird, my nigga. You window shopping in my in my Instagram DM, man. Like, come on, Lord. I don't know you. You could tell me anything, nigga. Talking about, yo, I got you in October. When I get this bread in October, we gonna do this. I'm paying off on this camera. Niggas be wildin', bro. Like, nah, my nigga. You know what I mean? My favorite word, now. That's my favorite word, nigga. Now. You wanna do business? Let's do it now. What's poppin'? Let's go. Let's get it in. You get extra shit. You get perks for, for, for being a quick businessman. Bro, I got that promo sale for you for Juneteenth. That's a fact, my nigga. I got that promo. I got that Juneteenth promo deal, my nigga. Hit me up on my DM real soon. Last, tell me what you working with. Whatever you working with, we making it happen, nigga. You heard? I need all money right now. I ain't playing no games out here. These niggas be trying to act like they rich on YouTube, nigga. I ain't rich. Bro just saw me sitting in the Audi. Now nah, I mean, she thought I had cake. Little do she know I'm out here looking for chicks like you with cake, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> you heard? She trying to get some cake. She trying to get some cake. I'm trying to get some cake. You heard? I'm out here trying to find me a 68 year old white woman, widowed white woman. You heard? That live out here with a condo like this. I don't give a fuck how she look. You heard? She could be 6'5. She could be 6'5, 400. Like this, shut, baby. You shut. You ever had a thug? You ever had a thug nigga from Brownsville? It's like, no, I'm not, I've heard about Brownsville on the news a lot. 10 10 wins, yeah. That's where I'm from. Be walking past her, coming in her building, looking at her motherfucking doorman. What's up, nigga? You know, them doormans. <laughs> them doormans, man. Them niggas be them niggas be hood niggas on the low. They be trying to fool niggas. I be laughing. I be going past spots. I be seeing them doormen. They be like, sure, say. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom, how was that golf last night? I be looking at the nigga like, nigga, cut it out. You an ex-felon that was in Auburn. You heard? Stop it. Them niggas be like, shh. Them niggas be giving me the look like, shh. Them niggas be making dumb tips. 
Because you got them niggas by the balls when you a doorman, son. You work in a rich, a rich ass building with nothing but rich people. They know that you know that they rich. You heard? So here you go oh, carrying their bags, opening their door. Nigga, they tipping you with 20s all day, every day. Christmas time, everybody in the building hitting you with, with 200 cash. You heard? You getting two racks and, and Christmas tip, three racks and Christmas tips alone in the building. You heard? So them niggas, that shit is a hustle. So them niggas be in there clean shaven, trying to act like they, they ain't thugs. Cut it out, my nigga. Cut it out. You was selling dope on Southern Boulevard four years ago, my nigga. You heard? Now you a doorman. Them niggas be like this. Shh. But them doorman niggas, them niggas got perks like a motherfucker, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you, lay, you, 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 you in the building with nothing but rich motherfuckers, my nigga. All you got to do is come to work looking sexy every day, nigga. It don't matter if you were the doorman, nigga. Bro, I see you each and every day of her life. She going to start liking you, my nigga. You pleasant? Yeah, sure. You want me to carry that? You want me to bring that to the house? Say, don't worry about it. I'll carry that whole thing. You in the crib. Hey, would you like a glass of water? Sure, I'll take a glass of water. Next thing you know, thrashing. You heard? Thrashing. But now you can't be thrashing shit as a doorman, though. That shit will start getting weird and shit. You go open the door for her and shit like, I'll be up there later, nigga. You heard? But that doorman shit is serious. But a lot of y'all niggas was ex-Latin gang members and shit like that. Y'all fronting like y'all white Italian doormen and shit like that. Nah, nigga. You was the head of a Latin gang up north, nigga. You heard? Now you on Park Avenue. Know what I mean? You on Park Avenue opening doors for niggas and carrying bags upstairs nigga but up north you heard you he was the you was the motherfucking war chief of uh three different latin gangs nigga you heard but nah man yeah man nah them doormen them niggas got some jobs though they got some jobs my nigga i ain't even gonna hold you if a nigga told me right now Yo, lads, I get you a doorman spot in one of the most richest bu buildings on Park Avenue right now, and you work the night shift. Now, I can't work no night shift. I'm too old for that. But if I could work the morning shift, yo, you work, could work there from 6 a.m. to like 3. Nigga, I'm in there, son. I'm in there, son. I got to see how that I gotta see how that work out. If the salary is good, the salary is good, and I'll get that shit a good two, three months, and them tips is bananas. Man, listen, my nigga. You heard? Nigga like me, man. I'll be having a three-piece suit on, shaved up. Listen. Listen. Now, nah, niggas would be scared of me. Be like, I don't know. I just see him. something about that guy. Like, I'm telling you, honey, it's something about him. So, them niggas, them niggas would get me up out of there, though. You heard? Nah, if I was a doorman there, I'd be filming lives at the spot all day, nigga. I'd be here early in the morning at the spot like this, yo, what up? From out here fronting like a, I call that shit, every live would be fronting like a doorman, episode one. Episode 46, fronting like a doorman. You heard? Tip game through the roof, nigga. Little do they know I got the hottest YouTube channel in New York on the low. But I'll be in there like this. Hey, how you doing? You're sure. Sure, I'll mount your Christmas tree for you. Sure. Let me know what time you want me to come up. <laughs> Being in with my boxes on, nigga. You heard? I had like seven broads in the building. I'll be thrashing like seven broads in the building. Fronting like I'm only thrashing one to each one of them like this. Yo, listen, man. I don't want nobody to know. What, but I don't want to lose my job. All right? So you got to keep this... Super secret. You heard? Don't tell anyone. Don't tell your friend. Don't tell your sister. It's between me and you. I don't want to lose my fucking job, all right? You're telling that same shit to like eight broads in the building. You heard? Should be a circus in that bitch. Be all type of half Puerto Rican babies, half black and Puerto Rican mixed with white babies up in that motherfucking building, nigga. You heard? 
pull a Schwartzy, man. Pull a Schwartzer nigga. That nigga Schwartz nigga, real nigga. That nigga was thrashing his maid like this. Listen, nigga. Nigga had zillions of dollars. That nigga was the maid governor of LA. Nigga had motherfucking governor of California. Nigga had motherfucking millions of dollars, nigga. That nigga wanted that maid puss. No disrespect to her, cause she's a sweet lady. But that nigga wanted that maid puss, my nigga. That 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 Latin maid puss. It, you ain't you listen. You can have all the money in the world, nigga. You wake up three, four in the morning to go get some milk out the freezer, refrigerator, and you see the motherfucking Latin breasts. You see them Latin forty-four Bs. I mean, you see them Latin thirty-eight Cs under a nightgown at two, three in the morning, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you the governor of, nigga. You a man. You running up in that, nigga. You living in my motherfucking house with them 38 C's? Nah, bro. You heard? She running around with the night gal with the 38 C's, the nipples bouncing around. Oh, excuse me, Arnold. I didn't know. Excuse me, Mr. Schwartz, nigga. I didn't know you were going to be up at 3 in the morning. I'm sorry I have this little sexy nighty on. That nigga Arnold was like this. Listen. <laughs> that nigga, he terminated her, basically, to, to say the least. Arnold terminated her, my nigga. That nigga wasn't playing. He turned into the Terminator on that, like this. Listen. Nigga just dried through the shades on, nigga, through the Terminator shades on, like, listen. I am a man. Even though I am married and have children, your Latin breast is like kryptonite. Hurt. Them, them old Latin chicks, them, them old 40 some, 50 some year old. I ain't gonna, I'm 40 some, so I ain't gonna say old. But them 50 some Latin, Latin, 50 year old Latin chicks, man, running around with them breasts bouncing around, man. Listen, man, it's just sagging. <laughs> Niggas be acting like they don't like saggy breasts. I like all breasts, nigga. Saggy, perky, whatever. Long as them shits is swinging. You heard? She was in that kitchen with them swinging. Them swinging 38 C's under a good nightgown with some good slippers on with her toenails done. Man, listen, man. Listen. That nigga made a little half Mexican Terminator or half whatever. I forgot what she is. Made a half Mexican Terminator, my nigga. Hurt. That nigga's son came out looking like a half Mexican Terminator, son. It was like, nah, son, that's you, son. You can't cover that up, son. He went up in that raw. You heard? That nigga Arnie? That nigga Arnie went up in that raw like this, man. Listen, man. Listen. You heard? She had that motherfucker. Listen. And she hitting them niggas with that Mexican cuisine or whatever. I forgot where she from, man. Ecuador or something. I forgot where she from. But she was hitting them niggas with that South American cuisine up in there. Boom, bop, bing, bing, bing. Hold that for breakfast. You eating a regular egg and egg and toast? Nah, nigga. Hold this motherfucking Mexican chorizo egg mixed with. She was hitting that nigga with the Mexican whole list. Boom. You know, they in Cali. They ain't eating nothing but Mexican food. The whole Cali. Hurt. My nigga. Shout out to the God Fruit Corn. Shout out to my bro Rada. You heard? But like, yo, son, she was hitting that nigga with the Mexican breakfasts. You know, them niggas be having chorizo and egg and, you know what I mean, South American breakfast. She was hitting that nigga with that. Your whole lap, boom. Nigga like, damn. Damn, this bitch. Damn, she could cook. You know what I mean? Dinner time. Psh, that, that official Mexican shit. Yo, boom, what? What? You want tacos? No problem. Bing, bong, bing, 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 bong. Nigga Arnold like this. Damn. Damn, you know. You know, they say the way to a man's heart is his stomach, my nigga. She hitting that nigga with that good South American cuisine. That nigga like this, getting weak. Damn. Damn, this shit good. Coffee in the morning? Nah, that ain't no regular Folgers, son. That's some that's some South American imported coffee. Yo, here, hold this. That nigga like this. Oh, damn. Damn, I'm going to fuck this. I'm getting weak. You heard? That nigga was at his therapist like, yo, I'm getting weak. She's walking around the house. I can't do an Arnold. I can't do a good Arnold impersonation, man. You know what I mean? 
I'm Arnold. She's walking around the house. She's walking around. I can't do Arnold, man. I can't do Arnold under pressure on live. You heard? But if I'm if I'm if I'm Dolo, I could do a good Arnold. But that nigga was like, man, listen, she's walking. I ain't even gonna do it, my nigga. But um, he was telling his therapist, listen, man, you know, I'm a married man. I'm old. You understand? I, I had a lot of women, but I'm still a man. You heard? And she's Latin. And she's walking around with those breasts. Hold on. Yo. What's goody? I'm on live right now on YouTube. That's why I wasn't answering the joint, man. But when I get off this shit, I'm going to hit you back. All right, I'm going to hit you back when this shit go off. But I'm off this shit. You're... All right. Yeah, man. The nigga Arnold. Arnold. It's like, listen, I have a little Arnold coming now, but now on some G shit. I'm joking and all of that, but you know what's some beautiful shit? That nigga got a beautiful relationship with his son, and that's real nigga shit. Like, son had a son out of wedlock. He ain't try to disown his son. Them niggas be fucking with each other, working out together. Now I mean? That nigga look just like his pops. You heard? I respect that shit, my nigga. I respect that. You manned up. You told your wife whatever. What did yo listen, nigga? You know, she was walking around with the motherfucking 38 double triples or whatever, bouncing around in the kitchen. I'm a man. I thrashed her. You heard? We had a baby. You know what I mean? It is what it is, my nigga. You're going to have to hold this one down. You heard? Next time, don't get no motherfucking Latin maid in the house, nigga. You heard? Don't get no Latin maid in the house with them big ass titties, my nigga, because it's going to go down in here, man. You heard? But now nah, some G shit. No disrespect though, now. Nah, but nah, I mean, that uh, that chick that he had that baby with though, she is very sexy, my nigga. You heard like you know niggas be believing the myths like all women gotta be Barbie doll and for a man to be attracted. That's bullshit, nigga. A woman could be sexy no matter what size, shape. She could be tall, short, tall, fat, skinny. She could still be very sexy, my nigga. So you bring your millionaire husband around that good. You know what I mean? Hood, hood chick that grew up in the hood, it can go down, Lord. And that's a fact, man. Real talk. But yeah, my genies. The non truth was popping, real deal was popping. Romy 16 was popping. E I don't care if I shout a child already. I'm shouting you again, nigga. Planet Playfield. Planet Plainfield was populating. Point guard. Go lady was really good. DeAndre Crosby was popping. You heard? But chair, yeah, man. But chair, yeah, man. I'm getting hungry. I'm about to go get me something to eat, man. I don't know what I'm gonna get to eat though. You heard? Just Nice was popping. Jason FNJ was really good. Royston Gibbs was popping. Sasha V was really hood. I see you in the building. Yeah, man. Word is Bon Jovel. Yeah, my G's. But yo, make sure y'all leave a comment on the last two, three episodes that I... Driz knopped, you heard? Last few episodes I dropped. Let me see what it is that I dropped. The last few episodes I Driz dropped. All right, I dropped that new L Famous today. Sneak Thieves violated in Washington. You heard? That's already doing some good noon braids. Make sure y'all comment on that. You heard? Then I got um that um Mount Loretta on Staten Island was haunted. Make sure you comment on that. Make sure you comment on that new hook off. Nobody wanted to go to three lower make sure you comment on that that new just sleeping in project hallways in brownsville 11 years old make sure you comment on my my nigga sims joint from roosevelt long island my day one friend set me up in a drug deal make sure you comment make sure you go listen to my little new song gunpowder sniffers leave a bomb in on that you heard um make sure you check that first episode of the story of lg um season two Jamaican shot the house up. Now I mean, my nigga Puerto Rican Mikey. You heard? We schmoving, man. Make sure you check that new shadow. 
You heard I got another new shadow coming soon. Me and Shadow about to go back in. Got another new John Ryder coming. Got another wise, new wise coming. You feel what I'm saying? I got some heavy hitters coming, man. You feel me? Like I said, I'm going to have to drop two episodes a day for a couple of these episodes, man, for the next few days, man. So, you know what I mean? Y'all comment, gang niggas. Y'all got to be on point. Your because is going down. Non-truth, appreciate that donation. My brother, appreciate you. Appreciate you. YouTube is some funny niggas, man. They got an ill system, like. They got an ill system. Niggas be trying to make that guap. YouTube don't be playing no games out here. They be trying to get that guap out them creators, nigga. Straight Jack LaLanne, nigga. Straight Jack LaLanne. But yeah, I'm starving. I don't know what I'm going to eat, man. What am I? What do I feel like eating tonight, man? Oh, I think I know. <laughs> run down on one of my favorite falafel spots in the city even though i'll be over falafel in it man real talk man i'll be eating too many goddamn falafels i mean but yeah man ct in the building was really good mac ben was popping if you ain't see that good connecticut uh content we got on the channel make sure y'all dudes uh put in saint Laz, john Ryder, connecticut it's a lot of good jewels on the channel, man. It's a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on on YouTube. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of controversy flying around on YouTube. And, you know, we love it. D. Stokes was populating. Appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate you, man. Paul P. was really good. You know, we 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 aiming to have the best jail channel. I mean, you know, we're seeing a competition, though, man. I I respect everybody that's out there pushing their little jail channels and shit like that. And I don't mean little, like I'm downplaying your shit. I'm just saying I respect niggas out there pushing their jail channels. E King, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate that Snow Nation, you heard? But um, I like to see niggas coming up, man, doing their shit, man. You feel what I'm saying? I'm waiting for a celebrity to show me that love, though. That's what I need, man. I need a big celeb. To help me get to 100,000 subscribers, my nigga. Stop hating on the God and just show some love, bro. That's all you got to do. Nah, you ain't hating, but I'm saying stop, 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 stop. Hold. See, some niggas is haters. Some niggas be blockers. And some niggas be like pullers. Heard? Niggas ain't blocking you, but they slightly pulling on your shirt so that you don't go too far too fast. You heard? I need niggas to let the shirt go. What's up? What up? Look at my face. I'm calling your bluff, nigga. Period. That's how I get down. You, heard? you look all in my face. I'm calling your blitter enough. What's popping? What's good with you? What up? What's really hood? You want to get on live and what's what it was popping? Appreciate that Snow Nation, my nigga. Appreciate that. You heard? Edwin wins. What's populated? I mean, you know. Yeah, my nigga, but you know, I ain't gonna be, man, you know, man, you know, listen, man, listen, man, you know, you know, niggas say a lot of stuff, man, you know, niggas say a lot of stuff, man, you know, you know, man, niggas say a lot of, I'm gonna start addressing shit like an old school 70s pimp, yeah, man, you know, a lot of these jive, you know, a lot of jive niggas, man, a lot of jive niggas be talking jive, man, you know, but you know, I'm out here, man, you know, I'm just doing me, man. You feel me? But I ain't going, man. I ain't getting involved with no job turkeys, man. Imagine when that shit was a mad insult. Niggas was getting shot for saying that. Nigga, you was a job turkey. Nigga, like, what, motherfucker? What the fuck you call me? You heard what the fuck I said, nigga? You was a job ass turkey. You heard? My mom still be saying that shit. Like, she be like, oh, they job. I be like, damn, nigga, you got the, the dino, you got the dino slang. We well, jive. Niggas be getting mad. I done seen an old nigga get mad over that. They be like, nigga, what? what? Who jive? What the fuck you talk about? Shit. Nigga call you a jive turkey. It be on, nigga. And some nigga, nigga, you's a jive ass turkey. That's what the fuck you is, a jive ass turkey. Nigga be like, what motherfucker? Nigga pull out a switchblade. What motherfucker? With a big stupid mustache. Big 70s mustache. Nigga, what motherfucker? What you call me, motherfucker? A 
That nigga Mike Epps be having me pissing on myself when that nigga be talking about the old niggas fighting. That nigga Mike Epps be having me pissing, my nigga. Nigga said old niggas be fighting. <laughs> nigga said old niggas be fighting over alternators and shit. Nigga said, oh, yo, oh, let me see, oh, yo. Um, let me ask you a question, man. What's this I heard about? I was supposed to have took an alternator from Tony last week. Nigga said, I was supposed to took an alternator from, from Fred last week. Get him, Tony. Nigga said, get him, Tony. That shit be having me crying, son. Nigga said, niggas be fighting over an alternator. You heard? Nigga said, yo, what? Let me, I know, let me talk to you for a second, man. Like, what, what's this I heard about? Uh, I supposed to have took an alternator up off of... Niggas just start scrapping. Bing, bong, bing, 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 bong, bing, bing. Get him, Tony. You heard? They don't even make name niggas Tony no more. Like, you don't want me knowing no young 2000 niggas nigga named Tony. Tony was a, my step pops, that nigga used to run with a nigga named Eli. You heard a nigga be having me crying. Nigga be like, shit. Don't make me call Eli down this motherfucker. You heard Eli was from Sally Matthews. Shout out to Eli, wherever he at. I just he made me just remember a story. Oh shit. I remember I found a hundred dollar. Was it a hundred dollar? Oh, I found a fifty dollar crispy fifty dollar bill in the little circle. And that nigga Eli was like, yo, what's that? Let me see. I was like, nah, nigga. And nigga tried to come over. He said, let me see. Let me see. Nigga tried to snatch that shit, nigga. I tore ass. Niggas was chasing me through the whole Howard projects. I'm like this. My shit fat, nigga. I got away from everybody with that 50, nigga. Niggas was on me, son. Niggas know that nigga Eli from Sally Matthews with the thick glasses, man. That was my step pop's right hand man, that nigga Eli. That nigga be like this. Shit, I wish one of these motherfuckers would act up out here. I call motherfucking Eli. Shit, me and Eli go over there. Shit. That nigga be having me laughing, son. Be like, these motherfuckers out here, these Brownsville motherfuckers, my, my step pops, that nigga's a funny nigga because that nigga from Crown Heights, but he was living in Brownsville so long that up north they call that nigga, they call that nigga Brownsville because he was living in Brownsville for so long, but he really from Crown Heights. But that nigga be out there like, shit, I wish one of these Brownsville motherfuckers would play with me. Shit. Fuck, huh? <laughs> call, my, call that nigga Eli. Huh. Eli gonna bring the jammy through. Shit, it'd be a problem out this motherfucker. You don't want no problems with that nigga when that nigga with that nigga Eli, son. You heard? Them niggas will rob you, shoot you. Them niggas will fuck you up. I'm telling you, when them two niggas was together, Wayne and Eli, psst, you don't want to see them niggas coming down the street, Wayne and Eli. Somebody getting robbed, nigga. You heard? Somebody's getting robbed, bust, pocket snatch, knocked out. Niggas going in your pockets, knocking you out, my nigga. You heard? You don't want to see them niggas. You don't want to see them niggas on the back picking avenue, back street or something, my nigga. You heard? You know how niggas act when they get with their partners. My nigga, my step pops, that nigga come up in the crib, that nigga has some coke. You heard? Nigga had a couple 220s of coke in the for you. That nigga be like, shit, huh, these motherfuckers don't know. Right, Eli? They don't know how the fuck we get down. Shit, we done robbed everything out this motherfucker. You heard? That nigga was funny, son. And nigga Eli just being a cut like, shit, they don't know, man. They don't know, Wayne. Word up. Them niggas was, you ain't want to see them niggas, son. Nigga Eli tried to snatch the $50 bill. He was like, yo, let me see. Oh, what's that? Let me see. Let me, let me just see, nigga. Give me that shit, nigga. I was like, nah, nigga. My shit just like this. So get that nigga Wayne, get him. Niggas try to grab me. I'm like, this the fuck, get the fuck out of here. You heard? My shit was slithering off niggas. What? Psh, what? Niggas say, yo, come here, man. Let me just see this shit. Nah, nigga, you know what a $50 bill look like. Get the fuck out of here. Niggas was chasing me around a little circle. I just had to bounce out, run towards the big circle like this. Look at niggas behind me. My shit jumping over the bench, all of that. Like, niggas, all that shit, nigga. You, I'm a kid, nigga. Shit, my shit like 10, 11 years old. You can't be a kid with a crispy $50 bill, son. Them niggas broke trying to get a motherfucking... Niggas trying to get a bag up or something. I just like this. Oh, shit. $50. Listen, niggas flipped on me instantly, son. Niggas was like, $50? Get the fuck out of here. Let me see. Let me see. That ain't no motherfucking $50. I said, nigga, this shit $50. Niggas said, the f let me see that shit. Niggas said, let me see. Let me see. Give me that shit, nigga. I was like, fuck out of here. 
You heard? What's going, nigga? That nigga Eli from Sally, man. Shout out to that nigga Eli, man. I hope you're alive and well, man. Real talk, man. Or Mr. D, I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you, baby. Matt Russell, what's wrong with you? That's who Lele be fucking with, man. Niggas like Wayne and Eli, man. You know what I mean? Y'all niggas fucking with Lele and all of that. Eve was populating. Y'all fucking with that bro, Lele. She got niggas like Wayne and Eli from Sally Matthew, my nigga. You heard? Niggas was wearing big, stupid force nikes with the big, stupid tongue. You heard? Type of nigga Eli coming through with the big, stupid force nikes. With the big tongue, like, you know what I mean? They 80s niggas. You know what I mean? They like, them niggas is 80s niggas to the core. 82s. Them niggas be talking about my own, my step pops type of nigga. That nigga was wearing a nylon. You heard? That nigga have on a nylon with some shell toes. You heard? Some big Nikes, some big stupid Nikes or something. Big stupid flights, forces, big air forces with the big wild tongue. That nigga be like this, what's up, man? With a BVD on, with a burgundy BVD on. Now I mean, with some waves fresh out of Brooklyn house like this. What's up, man? What up? Know what I mean, you see them niggas coming there. Hemp nigga Eli got on the green BVD and they got on the burgundy BVD. Niggas walking down the street like, you don't want to see them niggas in 83, son. You don't want to see them niggas in 83, 84, son. Niggas walking down the street with motherfucking... Do rag in their back pocket with a pair of motherfucking F big stupid force nikes on with some motherfucking BVDs and some waves. Them niggas robbing you, son. I'm telling you. Them niggas robbing the shit out you, my nigga. Back in the days on the island, that see that was before our time. See, we niggas on the island when our time was getting robbed for official garments for real, for real. Back in the days, nigga, you couldn't even have a BVD on Rikers Island. My step pops used to tell me. He'd be like, Brooklyn House? He'd be like, man, listen, man. Psh, niggas come through with a crispy BVD, nigga. You better be ready to get it on, nigga. Because niggas going to want that BVD, nigga. Yo, what's up with that nylon, homie? You heard you come in with a fresh red nylon or something? Niggas like this. Yo, homie, what's up with that nylon? You heard? Niggas will run down on you for that BVD, my nigga. Somewhere out there is a nigga with a story on Rikers Island on how he had to get it on for his BVD. Holla at me, man. I need that story. You heard? But you couldn't just be coming through with a crispy BVD, my nigga. You heard? I had a burgundy DVD up until a couple of years ago. I just had to let it go. I just let it go. I said, all right, my nigga. Let that shit go, my nigga. You heard? I got rid of that shit. Them shits right there, them BVDs, man. You can't you can't wear them shits more than one day. Them shits be absorbing the funk, you heard? Them BVDs, them shits be absorbing the funk, nigga. You wear them shits one time, you got to wash that. And that's a fact. But them shits gonna end up coming back in style, watch. Nylon BVDs. Them shits gonna come right back in style. Word is Bon Jovell. But yeah, my Negroids, man. I mean, I just came in. You see, I ain't smoked no I ain't smoked no slim blunt on on camera yet. I got two little slimmies, two little slimmy clips up in here. You feel what I'm saying? Light up a little slimmy clip. I'ma stop coming on live so hard because y'all niggas be thinking I'm a mad druggy, man. I ain't even druggy like that, man. You're I just got slightly chinky eyes, man. So, you know, when I motherfucking smoke, my shit be looking closed and shit. Where's, where's my lighter, though, bro? Come on, my nigga. I got to go through this every time I smoke. Come on, Genie. Come on, my Genie. Only in Midtown Manhattan do meters run to 12 o'clock at night. Y'all some greedy motherfuckers in Manhattan. I tell y'all that, nigga. Y'all take the motherfucking cake, nigga. Y'all meters running run to midnight like Jesus Christ. I want I want the city making money at all times of night. Good little weed. Good little weed I'm sitting on. You know what I mean? Nice little good butt. Still sitting on some good butt. 
I can't be riding around with no little bit of bud, man. Getting, getting too known for that. Might bump into a nigga. Nigga might want to spark up an L or something. And then I'm pulling out a little small ass nickel bag. Talking about, yo, roll that up. Like, that shit ain't looking celebby. You heard? The weed got to look celebby out here, nigga. You heard? If the weed ain't looking celebby, it ain't looking right, my nigga. Nigga like, y'all seen that nigga last in real life? Man, nigga pulled out a nick. That nigga pulled out a nick, son. Word up, son. That nigga slim blunt game for real, son. That nigga pulled out a nick. It was like four of us. Man, can't be doing that back in the day. Shit, back in the day's indictment. Son, it used to be five of us on a nick, son. Be six of us. Niggas be rolling up a nick like this. Niggas monitoring game was through the roof. Nigga be like this. Yo, come on, pass that, my nigga. Nigga be like, damn, son, I just let this shit. He be like, come on, my nigga. You steaming, you babysitting that shit, my nigga. Nigga took one pull. You heard? My man Bucker, Bucker, I love you, son, but your bags used to be wow small, son. That nigga Bucker had the smallest bags in Dykeman, man. We used to call that nigga small bag. Yo, my nigga small bag, what up, son? You heard? <laughs> nigga Bucker, man. That nigga, that nigga had the smallest bag. But my son a hustler, them shits was going. But nigga had the smallest bags on the planet. Nigga like this, yo, son, let me get one of those. Niggas rolling that shit up. It's nine niggas in the studio like this. Yo, hold up, son, chill. Niggas like, yo, chill, son, hold up. All right, pass that, son. Pass that, come on, one in, one, one pulling pass. Niggas was one pulling, passing that shit, nigga. Don't let that shit be rolled up in, in something like a Philly or White Owl that burn fast. That shit be gone, nigga. Iron lungs being that shit like that. That you know you always had that one man that that nigga just got the iron lung. You heard? That ain't gonna lie. That was that nigga OP, man. Used to call that nigga the man with the iron lung. Nigga hit that shit. Nigga be like, that. remember the first time we that nigga came to the studio? We used to be on some two pulling past shit. First time that nigga OP came to the studio? I'm gonna tell about this in the Pottersville story. Niggas passed the blunt to that nigga, son. And nigga hit that shit like 12 times. Niggas was looking at that nigga like. Niggas was looking back and forth at each other like. Niggas like, yo, this nigga trying to play us? We really thought son was trying to play us. But he was an iron lung ass nigga. Nigga hit that shit like 12 times like this. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Worried I'm going to lay another verse down that. Niggas was like, yo! No, our nigga be hitting the blunt so hard that shit be burning hot. The blunt be hot as a motherfucker try to pass that shit. Be like, damn, son. You got the blunt all hot and baggy now? You heard? That nigga used to have the blunt hot and baggy. Be like, yo, son. The first time we smoked with that nigga when he left, I said, yo, son, word the mother. I hope son wasn't trying to play us with the way he was hitting that L. And he was like, nah, I don't think so, son. I think son just used to smoking with other niggas. I said, well, we ain't other niggas, my nigga. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga was in, inhaling the whole blunt like this. I said, damn. We going to have to get this nigga some, et some etiquette around this motherfucker. Because you ain't going to be hitting that blunt like that, nigga. Because I'm telling you, when that nigga was hitting the blunt, everybody was looking at each other like, Oh, oh, oh my god oh. Niggas was like what the fuck Nigga was killing that shit We ain't had no weed Harley Nigga was like Yeah son Yeah turn my vocals up a little bit on that Niggas was like yo this nigga right here is a savage He's a savage my nigga I have to have a talk with this guy Listen my brother Around here weed and money is scarce so when he roll up that blunt, son, you hit that shit one, two times, son, pass that shit on to the next man, son. You heard? You can't be taking 14 pulls off the blunt, son. Know what I mean? Word up, son. Know what I mean? But yeah, bro. Story of Pottersfield coming soon. I'm going to break down each one of these characters that was a part of this Pottersfield group. And y'all niggas going to be, y'all going to love them. Y'all going to love each nigga. 
When I break it down, you're gonna understand why these niggas was in my rap group. You feel what I'm saying? Because all these motherfuckers is funny. You heard we talking about OP, my nigga NY City. Now I mean, my nigga's Wooden Soldier. Now I mean, Bucker. You know what I mean? Joe Dancer. I got, I got, I got, I got food, my nigga. Now I mean, I got food. My nigga Ray Roulette. You heard? A lot of shit, man. Know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Niggas was hitting that blunt extra hard, son. Straight up. Niggas was ready to, niggas was ready to get the ratchet. You heard? Niggas was ready to get the ratchet. Like, yo, this nigga, you, you disrespect the nigga, son. This nigga disrespect the nigga, son. Like, nah, man, chill. Son just don't know. He used to smoke with niggas with some more weed. Cause we ain't those niggas, son. We in here rolling up a we in here rolling up a a, a, a nick. We nine deep. You know what I mean? Niggas was nine deep. That nigga Bucker used to be mad. Be like, yo, son, yo, let me get a credit bag, Buckaroo. I got you next next Christmas. You heard? Nigga be like, shh. Nigga Bucker used to be avoiding us. <laughs> be like, yo, Bucker, I got two, son. You heard? Nigga selling, nigga selling dimes. And nigga talk about, yo, son, I got two, son. You heard? And I need a Dutch from you, son. You heard? Son, I love him. But we was violating, son. Niggas be like, yo, son, word, son, let me get 11 credit bags, son. I got you next Fridays. Next Friday when Christmas land on Friday. I got you. Niggas never paying that nigga back. You heard? Nah, we was paying Buck back, though. But then we'd be mad when we had to pay Buck back for them little ass bags. We'd be like, Shh, gotta pay this nigga back for them little ass bags, man. Fuck, man. Yo, here, son, take your money, son. Little ass bags, man. You heard? Them shits was Tiny Tim, nigga. But nigga, when it wasn't nothing around, but son always had some fire, though. He ain't never had no trash. But when it wasn't nothing around, <laughs> niggas needed them Tiny Tims, baby. You heard? He just needed them tiny Tims, my nigga. But we was, we was scared. Then I, then I started messing with this bra. She was hitting me with that G4. That's when G4 first came out. That weed G4. She was hitting me with all the shake. She had some niggas that had that shit. She was just hitting me with bags of shake of that shit. After a while, that shit started tasting like niggas was smoking straight. See, I'm telling too much elements out of the Pottersfield story. But after a while, that shit was tasting like we was just smoking the lawn outside. Like, a nigga just went, took a lawn mower, mowed the lawn, threw that shit in a bag, and brought it upstairs. You feel what I'm saying? Like, all shake don't be good, son. Sometimes shake be great, but sometimes shake, like, she was giving me the shake shake. Like, when you smoke little pieces was flying in your mouth like that. Damn, nigga. You heard? But we was so cheap. We like, it's free weed though, son. She hitting me with an ounce of G4 shake every week. We ain't trying to pay. We smoking that shit, nigga. That shit started tasting like lawn. I, I had to stop fucking with that shit. I said, son, you know what? This shit tastes like a nigga just grew a homegrown plant, cut that shit, didn't cultivate it at all. Just cut the plant, threw the shit in the oven, roasted it, and rolled it up. That's what I used to do when I was a kid. I used to say, I ain't know what the fuck I was doing trying to grow weed. I used to just grow a weed plant, let that shit get mad tall, chop it, throw the shit in the oven till it turned brown, try to smoke it. And then I'd be lying to myself like it got me high. I'd be like, Yo, this, shit, this shit type right though, my nigga. That shit ain't right, nigga. That shit ain't doing nothing at all because you did not push the THC into the leaves. You just threw the shit in the oven. You heard? Lord knows what I used to do to weed when I was a young nigga. I was very stupid, to say the least, my nigga. Forgive me for anybody who bought some weed for me when I was 16 and 17 years old, bro, because we, we, we was altering that, my nigga. That's all I got to say. You heard we was young, you know what I mean? But don't buy weeds from 16-year-olds. That's all I'm saying. If you're going to buy weed, don't buy weed from 16, 17-year-olds, nigga, because we was putting all type of shit in the weed, trying to make that shit potent, nigga. Pouring liquor and that shit, all type of shit. Like, nah, bro. Nigga soaking the weed and Hennessy and rum. Like, nah, my nigga. You can't be selling nigga shit like that, my nigga. I ain't even gonna tell you what other shit we was putting in the shit. But uh, let's just say, don't buy weed from 16-year-olds, man. Make sure you buy weed from a grown, mature man. You heard? 
And that's a fact. But I don't even know how much is it. Back in the days, an ounce of some raw was too much for me to afford, my nigga. I was buying them niggies. I was buying them New York Knickerbockers, my nigga. You heard? And when I did have some money, I was buying a dub or some pellet or some shit like that. Some Mongo Pena or some shit like that. You heard? We stayed smoking, but it was times, my nigga, where we was lighting up a nick between 14 niggas. I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. Niggas will tell you. It's time we was in the studio. <laughs> niggas be coming through to record songs. Black Play 456. Appreciate that donation, my brother. Niggas used to be coming through to record songs, and we be hoping them niggas had some weed. You heard? Nigga like Snipe Life come through. We be like, yo, that nigga Snipe coming through. Word, damn, I hope that nigga got some fucking weed. You heard? That nigga come through, yo, what up? Yo, I got some lism. Niggas be like, oh, yes. Niggas be in there fucked up. Nigga Snipe just called me, yo. Yo, what you doing, yo? Yo, I want to record 11 freestyles tonight. Got the five joints I got to do for styles. All right, I'm going to come through. I got some lism. Be like, all right, my nigga, no problem. Like, yo, that nigga Snipe coming through with that lism, you heard? They be like, yes, yes, nigga. Niggas be fucked up. Nerd niggas was renting studio time out. Niggas be like this. Yo, mind if I smoke here? No, no problem. Light that shit up, nigga. Just pass it, you heard? Shit was rough, man. Then I caught a little couple of dollars. I stepped it up, you heard? Ran into a little 15, 20,000 or whatever. Now, I mean, I stepped it up, lit the whole studio up. We was all right. Then we was back broke again. You know, we was good, baby. It was ups and downs out this bitch. But um, it was definitely times niggas was in that studio with they lungs on the gate. You heard? Niggas lungs was on the gate, Lord. Now, I mean, praying that nigga came through with some, some heavy dank. You heard? That's how my nigga OZ got his name OZ. Because that nigga, we'd be fucked up with no weed. Niggas like, damn, son, we smoked the last roaches and all of that, man. Damn, son. It's only 8 o'clock. We fucked up for the night. My nigga OZ would just pop up with an OZ. Yeah. Yo, what up? I got some weed. Nigga just pull out an OZ or some fire. We'd be like, yo, son, you that nigga, son. That's why we call you OZ, son. Story of Pottersfield coming soon, bro. My nigga Soldier, too. My nigga Wooden Soldier, I ain't gonna lie, that nigga pop up. He oh, he the type of nigga we fucked up. That nigga done popped up on me, nigga, when I was fucked up. Nigga rolling roaches of roaches. You heard? Nigga rolling the roaches up. You know how you roll roaches up and then you bust that shit open again? Like, nah, nigga, you still got a little bud in you, nigga. Know what I mean? Nigga was smoking roaches of roaches. That nigga soldier just pop up on me. Yo, son, you in the crib? Hell yeah, I'm in the crib. Yo, coming up. Nigga just pop up. Ounce. Yo, here, son. Here go an ounce. Boom, here. Here go 300 cash for your pocket, son. Word up, man. Word to mother. My son would do shit like that. You feel me? Pisces type shit he would do like that. Nigga be broke, fucked up. Nigga just pop up out of nowhere. 300 cash and an ounce of weed. Yo, here, son. Love you. You heard? Real talk, like real nigga shit. Niggas done, niggas done, niggas done caught a nigga when a nigga was at his lowly estate. You heard? Real talk. You know that bud have a nigga whole, nigga have a nigga whole attitude on life change. Nigga be like, nah, it's, we gonna make it, son. You heard? We gonna make it, son. We gonna get, we'll get rich, son. Word up. When that bud is in the building, niggas find a way to make it to the next day, nigga. You heard when that bud ain't in the building? Shit rough. Shit rough, man. Wars wars have been started literally because niggas ain't had no bud. That's a fact. Angela Richards was popping. Brandon Chandler was really good. No Name Bounty Hunter was really. Kenneth True Blood was really goody. Freedom of Speech Podcast was populating. Yeah, my nigga. Fred OG's was popping. B-Rabbit was really good. Or niggas had us smoking that lawn, son. Started calling that shit lawn. Like, I can't fuck with that lawn no more, my nigga. Niggas was smoking the great lawn in Central Park. That shake was so shaky, nigga. It was like the shake was like premature and shit. Like, shit tasted like straight plants. I'm like, 
Am I high? Like, I'm smoking that shit. I'm like, am I high? What? Like, you, know, you got, yo, y'all niggas getting high from this shit? Niggas like, somewhat, somewhat. I feel something. Niggas like, nah, son, we gotta step this shit up. We gotta get rid of this grass, bro. I heard of, I've heard of smoking grass, but this is getting a little too literal. This shit tasting like real grass, my nigga. Like, we can't smoke this shit no more, son. You heard? I was smelling that shit sometime. Like, she bringing that shit to me. I'm like, this bitch trying to play a joke on me or something. Like, this bitch just mowed the lawn and bought me an ounce of, off the lawn and shit. Like, ounce of lawn grass. Like, what the fuck is this, my nigga? You heard? After a while, that shit wasn't hitting no more, son. That shit wasn't hitting no more. I be having old timers, some old timers indictment. Them niggas be having me laughing. I know this old time a nigga, he the only nigga in the whole world. This nigga still sell Reggie. You heard? He be catching me creeping to the loud block. I be trying to creep to he be like, young, he be like, young blood, what's up, man? What's up, baby? I'm like, oh, this nigga, man, where's Reggie, man? Nigga be like, what's up, baby? See, yo, I got something for you, man. I got something for you. I be like, Shh. nigga be like. Yeah, this nigga be like this. Nigga be looking around like he about to pass a brick of dope. You heard nigga be like this. Yeah, hold that, hold that. Take that, take that. Nigga pass that shit backwards. Here, take that, take that right there. Just grab it, grab it right there. I'm like this, nigga, man. Nigga just hit me with a big butt of reg. Like, you see that, man? That's chunky, man. That's, that's something for you, man. That's something for you right there, man. You know, you know. Give me what you want to give me for that, man. You heard? Now, next time. Next time when I see you, man, you know? You hit me with something. Whatever you feel like hitting me for next time. Like, all right, my bro. Word up. All right, my nigga. Just go around the corner. I smell that shit. I'll be like, damn, that shit smell like 1998. You heard? Said nigga hitting me with the 98 stash. Like, damn, son, where you getting this shit from? But now nah, I'm I'm fucking with the nigga, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. Sometimes that nigga be having some Arizona. I don't know how he get it, where he get it, but I know Arizona because it leaves a little burn in your throat. If you smoked Arizona, you know it because it leaves a little burn. Every time you take a pull, it's a little extra burn in the back of your throat that no other Reggie does but Arizona. So he be having that shit sometimes. I be like, damn, where the fuck you get this shit from, my nigga? He be like, yo, man, you know, man, shit. <laughs> like, I'm connected, baby. That's all I know. Know what I mean? You need something, you let me know. I be like, this nigga, the Reg connect, son. You heard? I got my, my nigga, man. That nigga is the Reggie Connect, son. That nigga will spot me. I be It be three in the morning. That nigga spot me like this. Hey, what's up, baby? Be two blocks down. Nigga be like, hey, what's up, baby? Yo. I be like, damn. This nigga trying to get me to buy a dime of Reggie. Nigga should be a big Ziploc full of weed for $10. Like, yo, son, you know niggas don't really smoke this no more, my bro. Like, you know what I mean? Niggas like, no, this weed ain't really in style no more, baby. Like, I don't even waste my time trying to explain that shit. I just be like, all right, let me see what you got, baby. Let me see what you got, baby. You heard? Shit be a... Psh, that shit be having, like, 40 seeds in that shit. Break that shit up. Seeds be like this, blah, 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 blah. Sticks be so hard, shit's pierced through your motherfucking fingers. You know that them red sticks? Them red sticks be different. Them Reggie sticks? Shit just pierce your whole shit. Oh, shit be bleeding like, damn, niggas, why I don't fuck with this Reggie? That nigga done caught me like that before. I ain't gonna lie. Where I was crushing that shit up. That shit just jigged my shit like an ice pick in my finger. Oh, shit, damn, this is why I don't be fucking with no Reggie, man. Hard ass sticks, man. They don't even make sticks no more. You heard? But sometimes I, Tom's hard, nigga. I be looking for that nigga sometimes. You heard? Tom's rough. I only got eight cash or something. And I can't go to the weed spot talking about you only got eight cash. You can't do that no more. This ain't, you, you got to know a nigga to do that. You heard? So sometimes I ain't got no guap, nigga. I got eight cash. Shit. I be mad that nigga ain't on the block. Like, 
fuck, man? Where this nigga at, man? Be hitting that nigga up on Facebook. Yo, what's up, yo? Yo, where you at? He be like, oh, man, nah, I'm in Rhode Island, young blood. I be like, damn. Damn, man. He the only nigga that would have took this eight, man, for that ounce. Nigga would have gave me that half an ounce for that eight cash, man, or that Reggie, man. I'd be mad, nigga. You heard? So a nigga be looking for the Reggie nigga sometime. Like, damn, I only got eight cash. Where my son at, man? See that nigga. I'd be like, what's up, big fella? What's up? What's good with you, baby? What's good with you, baby? What you what you working with over there, baby? And he'd be like, shit, man. So I got some fire, nigga. Yo, you don't want to fuck with this shit. Like, let me see, let me see, let me see what the fuck you working with, son. Shit be. Shit be brown as a motherfucker, you heard? We be brown as a motherfucker, nigga. That shit brown, Duncan Hans brownie, nigga. That shit ain't green. That shit brown, son. You heard? Nah, but he, I, another nigga one time, nigga hit me with some shit. That shit was so terrible, man. That shit made me say, yo, I need to stop smoking weed, man. If niggas are still smoking shit like this out here, man, that shit tastes so... I never threw weed away. You heard? I threw that shit in the garbage, nigga. I was like, I said, damn, this shit is disgusting. Like, I don't care how high it gets me. I can't, I can't taste weed like this. I threw that shit in the trash can, nigga. Like this, I can't do it, bro. You almost made me quit weed with that shit you sold me last time. That shit is be beyond Reggie. That shit is a new, they need a new name for that shit you sold me that time. That shit was terrible, my nigga. I said, damn. But nah, man. All right, man. I ain't going to talk a hole in y'all niggas' head, man. You heard? I ain't going to talk a hole in y'all niggas' head all night, man. I just wanted to holler at y'all niggas before I call it a niggity. You heard, Ramble 79. I see you in the building. Which power? You heard? But yeah, man. Don't meet a hitter. What's really good, man? Yeah, I always need that fire weed, man. I need it. I need it in my life, baby. That's a fact. Marlon Felder, what's really good? Where well, now, nah, my Reggie nigga, man. Psh, I'm gonna show that nigga on camera one day. Capo Chef, that's my dude. Know what I mean, Clifton Cyrus was populating. C Graph was popping. Some be having that CBD though, you heard? But now on some G shit though. Sometimes you want to smoke. I remember I was I was I was recording some songs with some Jamaican niggas, and they was like, "Yo, man, I mean, we don't smoke none of that GMO shit, man. None of that new age shit. Like if it ain't coming from the grounds of Jamaica, from the dirt, from the soil, if it don't grow in soil, we ain't smoking that shit. I mean, so you come to Jamaica, and I'll get you some real great green from the dirt." And when you smoke that shit, you ain't going to want to smoke nothing else. And I'm like, yo, you real, you, it's real though, bro. Because if you get a real good batch of Arizona, green ass Arizona, you don't need none of this GMO shit, son. That Arizona hit, son. That Arizona hit, my nigga. If you get real, a real good batch of that Arizona, that green Kermit the Frost used to be green like Kermit. I used to call that shit, this is Kermit the Frog. You heard? This is Kermit E. Frog. That's how green that shit used to be. You get that green ass Arizona, my nigga. Fresh, fresh, soft green. That shit don't be soft like that. It be it's some thick ass weed. Man, listen, you don't need none of this GMO shit, son. That shit fire, son. You know what I mean? If I ever find out that anybody is actually putting anything else in weed to try to make it stronger, I'm going to officially quit smoking. That's that's a fact. Like if, if they uncover the fact niggas put trying to put fentanyl in weed and shit like that, it's a wrap, bro. I know they be saying that shit, but you know what I mean? You got to be a fucking weirdo to try to put fentanyl in some weed. But if that if niggas start dropping dead from that shit, nigga, it's a wrap. I'm quitting that shit. Cause that fatty wop, that shit dangerous, nigga. The business was popping. Blue line bullies was really good. Oh, yeah, my genies. 1090 Bory TV was really hood. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna keep talking a hole in y'all niggas' head because you know I can talk all fucking night. 
So I'm going to get off this shit, man. I'm going to scream at y'all tomorrow. I'm going to try to drop an episode tomorrow. I'm going to drop an episode tomorrow, but I don't know if it's going to be uh, early in the morning. So I'll, fig- I'll figure that shit out. <laughs> Mr. Executioner was really good. Y'all appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you watching the channel, man. Appreciate you watching the channel, my bros. Appreciate all y'all dudes watching the channel. Appreciate them donations. Y'all be sending the cash app. Dollar sign Gen Pop fam is that bash app. Ain't no shame in my game, nigga. Thrash it out, you Because YouTube money is light. But anyway, I'm off this motherfucker. My stomach and back is playing team tag. You heard, I'm starving. I'm about to go get me a good falafel. Good falafel. Grilled good and all of that. You heard? Egyptian joint. You heard? Israel was populating, my bro. But y'all, I'm going to scream at y'all niggas, man. I'm going to scream at y'all niggas. Mr. Execution, I appreciate you, Lord. Appreciate you, Lord. Appreciate you. But like, yeah, man. Y'all do scream at me. I'll be on live tomorrow early. You already know, looking like I just woke up, looking crazy. I'll be on there. You heard? Falafel, vegetarian sandwich, my bro. It's the best. You heard? When niggas know how to do it right. But I'm going to scream at y'all niggas. One love.